Hi, I'm Donnie. I'm Trinidadian Costa Rican. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Afro Honduran. And we are your your co hosts for for Negra Negra Como Soy. Soy. Or I am Afro Latina. Every Tuesday, we'll bring you the insights, perspectives, and history of the African diaspora in Latin America. To educate, enlighten, and hopefully create a sense of belonging for you, our listeners, and viewers. Negra Como Soy is brought to you by Cultures, the global multicultural magazine. Cultures celebrates cross cultural identity because everyone should feel like they matter. Get down, Rhonda, get down! <laughs> So we have to comment once again that we did not coordinate our outfits. Rhonda is in a whole different city. <laughs> we I, I, like <laughs> we didn't talk about it. No text, girl. What color? Are you? None of that. None of that. Like, and she came on camera. And we were like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like every time it's happened. Every single time. This is like one of my favorite colors, though. This color and like the burnt orange, like. Those yes. Yes. Well, colors. I think we might just like all the colors and our skin. Are we? I'm a little more red than you are. We have a similar skin yeah. tone, but we. Yeah. Uh, but I have the redness. I have it's more so like gold undertones, gold yeah. brown. Mm-hmm. It's so funny when I was in India. Um, oh goodness, that's a whole nother story. Yeah, I mean, I got for three weeks. I got stared at everywhere I went. Like I've been all over the world. I have lived in all kinds of. I I do not. The United States was the only place I would get stared at, okay? And so when I was in India, oh, Lord. Anyway, so somebody took a picture. And when I came home and I had the developed picture, I could to- I looked like an alien next to the people <laughs> in India. Because they have an olive undertone, typically. And mm. so their darkness is very dark. I look like I was, like, glowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this big red ball. Do I have to stand next to her? <laughs> like, what's wrong with her? I think she has a disease. No. <laughs> I'm sure they were like, she's so radiant. Can I? Can I'll go with skin? that. We'll go with that. <laughs> so, ¿qué tal, Randa? How are you today? ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien, bien. ¿Tú cómo estás por allí? ¿Está frío? Bien. Yeah. Bien. Fantástico. <laughs> Fantastica. Fantastic. Fantastica. Is it fantastic or is it fantastico? Do I You're say, oh, I'm fanta- so fantastico? Si. Sí. <laughs> no, I, I, if I you're doing something, like, it might be fantastic. <laughs> I don't typically say that. Fantastica. I don't know. I don't, I think it's fantastico. It was, what other word was I looking at? Trabaja, trabajo. I mean, there's Mm -hmm. some words like I'm still like I'm still trying to remember that I'm supposed to you say who you are or who you're addressing with the word. Right. Excuse me. And um, and so words like trabajo sometimes throws me off because it's just the word like it's always trabajo. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Rhonda and I were having a conversation. We actually talked about this before. I don't know if you remember. I do remember. Excuse me, about um, language and code switching. Code switching, you know, now people use it for culture, but really it's always been about linguistics, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, well, I'm going to let you tell the story, just what it's like every day, because this is not your primary accent. You make a point to speak in In the, what you called standard American dialect. Dialect. Mm -hmm. Um, I... You know, it's interesting when people, someone in, where was I, in Costa Rica, they were like, somebody said to me, oh, but you have an American accent. I said, well, not all Americans have this accent, right? <laughs> like, I I have that newscaster, you know, as a journalist, yes. we're trained that this is the newscaster Midwest way of speaking. But I, I already speak like this, which I find interesting because, um, you know, I grew up in New York and I grew up all over the world and it does depend to whom I'm speaking and whom I'm around, what I sound like. But Mm -hmm. when I'm in Colorado and when I'm talking on TV or whatever, this is how I speak. And it's not hard for me to do that. Um, For you, however, tell us what it's like. Yeah. And, and 
what you just described is exactly what I mean. That standard American dialect to me is the one that you can hear on any news station, no matter whether you're in the South, on the West Coast, up North, back East, they all speak the same way. And so um, I didn't even remember this. I had a very good friend when I was in the Air Force, um, Amber Eagleton. What's up, girl? And she reminded me, she said, I remember when you said, I'm going to speak very slowly until I can correct the way that I speak because I had to speak slowly in order to do it, right? So I was telling you the story that I was with some very close friends of mine and we were working on this kind of recital that we have to do where we're all gonna be saying the same thing at the same time. And I can't speak quickly even after, I can't do the math, but I was 19, 18, 18 when I started changing how I speak and I'm 44 now. So more than half my life, I've been 26 years. Yeah, I've been working on this. And so it makes me um, speak more slowly. I have to take time because I'm literally, as I'm talking, trying to remember how to pronounce the words, right? It's like so it's translating. I am. I am. You all also the time. just made me realize <laughs> that's so oh, wow. You just made me realize why I speak like this. So I was in New Mexico. It happened when I went to New Mexico and when I went, when I came to Colorado, which, so it makes sense that I have the standard to the television dialect <laughs> yes. because, um, wow, this is blowing my mind right now. That's why I'm pausing for a second because the, my teachers were like, you eat your words, you eat your words. Well, to your point of speaking quickly. So in Trinidad, which was my first accent in New York, and I would, I remember being so perplexed, like, what are you talking about? Like, everybody mm -hmm. talks like this. And it's like, Brrr! and people here would be like, oh, you speak so fast. You speak so fast. I can't understand you. And mm -hmm. it is a way of speaking. And actually, when I speak, when people tell me my Spanish is good, I make a point to what I was taught back then, mumble. They were telling me I was mumbling, but mm -hmm. now it's, it's helping me with Spanish because Spanish speakers understand me better and the words, the words sound better. They sound more authentic when I quote unquote mumble, right? Yeah. And it's, it's true for my Spanish as well. I've found that when I'm trying to speak more, um, you know, properly in Spanish and I hate, I did that because, you know, it's still standard, right? Then that's when I get more corrections on you know, oh, did you mean to say this? And it's because the pronunciation cannot come out correctly because I'm trying so hard. You're trying so hard. You just have to let it flow. I have to let it flow. But my biggest issues are R's, which is funny because my name is Rhonda, right? <laughs> but um, so many times just saying my name, especially over the phone. Yes, this is Rhonda. Oh, hi, Wanda. I'm like, do I really sound like I'm saying W? Like, no, Rhonda with an R. My name is Rhonda. But people like inevitably say Wanda when I introduce mm -hmm. myself. But um, I used, I grew up saying R, like R. So if I had to spell my name, how do you spell your name? R-H-O-N-D-A. But when I try and use this accent that I've cultivated over 26 years, it's R-H-O-N-D-A. But saying R like that is just foreign. It's uncomfortable. It's tiring. Mm -hmm. And it's Exhausting. just like, Exhausting. It's exhausting and it's my daily life. And I even do it at home now because, you know, Randall's from South Africa and he speaks this South African, you know, that some people think of as this British kind of yes. accent, you know. And so sometimes, and he's, he's apologized, you know, that he was just teasing and it was definitely not intentional, but the, the way he responded initially made me uncomfortable hmm. speaking naturally. Responded to how he spoke what? what did you say you know what? like he would, yeah. he would he would question like what did you say but he was just trying to get it because he walks around trying to imitate me all the time so he'll be like tuesday wednesday and and it's over exaggerated when i do it but apparently when i say monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you know it doesn't sound like the way he says it monday tuesday you know and so because he would do things like that then i would even more you know, subconscious, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. So different. So when I learned French, maybe because I was so young when I started learning French, that wasn't a problem. And then I was 18 when I started speaking German. 
And that was, I, I, people always say, oh, German's hard. I don't know. I found German to be very easy. <laughs> I, it was very much like English, I thought, so it wasn't too bad. Whereas Spanish is like a whole different thing, right? And so I think back a couple of things. Like I was dancing on a video the other day. I was just happy and just... Anyone who knows me knows I'm always dancing. I'm always playing music. <laughs> well, uh, my friend the other day, he was like, you're always singing. And he's like, do you like karaoke? I was like, no, I don't do karaoke. I've done karaoke twice. And I was like scared crapless. But, uh, <laughs> but um, I'm just, I mean, I don't realize. I just, I'm humming the song, right? So um, someone said, I had, I put this video up on social just because it felt like joy to me. And every time I watch it, it's like joy because I was dancing and it was to a sad song, but the song is upbeat. So I was dancing and, um, and the person said, because I was singing some of the Spanish lyrics, lyrics, and they were like, sing the whole song. And I'm like, what American music do you know? All the words to all this. I mean, I was like, look, stop trying to steal my joy. I'm just enjoying this song. I wasn't trying to impress you. I was just having a good time. But it also reminds me, and the same thing too, I use music to help as I learn Spanish. Um, because I translate the songs, right? And I try to remember, okay, the person might be mumbling, same as US songs. I try to remember that, okay, there's words you can't tell. You, sometimes you thought the song meant a whole different thing after you actually read the lyrics, right? And so mm-hmm. that gives me, gives me, I'm not licensed, but it reminds me that it's gonna be the same there too. So that then also brings me to what you were saying. A friend of mine, um, from the Philippines when I was like in fourth grade and we were trying to teach her to say iron, you know, like iron. iron. And she's like, iron. And we're like, and we were, I remember we were all just thought it was cute and laughing or whatever. No, iron, 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 iron. And then <laughs> I, I, earn, earn, iron, iron. <laughs> And actually, I think, wasn't I with you when, when, because I used to say azúcar, and it's azúcar for sugar. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I like azúcar. (laughs) But what really got me to switch, because I was like, I'm going to say azúcar, but nobody ever knew what I was saying. And then it made me realize, I think to my friend, it's like when she was saying iron, nobody knows what that is. Well, like, what is that? That's not even a word, right? So I had to understand that you have to say it that way. And so that's what you're experiencing all day, every day, because, you know, we're talking about how, to me, I call it a heaviness. Like to speak English, you, mm-hmm. you put a weight on your tongue. It's like a heaviness to the words and, and, um, and it puts emphasis on them. Right. But mm-hmm. for Spanish, for me anyway, you have to lighten that up. It's like, you need to, no more lifting weights. You have to be like air <laughs> and like things kind of flow through. So you're constantly and that's- having to put that weight on your tongue. Yeah. And when, when I just speak normally, like if I'm talking to my sister or whoever, it just flows because I don't have to put all those endings. I eat my words as, as your teacher said to you that once, but I wanted to bring this up because I was like, I'm tired of doing that. And I cannot be like, every time it's time to record, have to do that. So from this episode on out, when y'all hear me talking. Is this what your you real getting? talk? This is your real talk this, now? This is what you're getting. I, see, I, said, I, didn't, I didn't see it you switch. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? We need subtitles. <laughs> I did not feel a big switch there. I can't believe well, Randall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on Randall. Right he shouldn't be doing this to you. He messed well, with your he, head, girl. He, he didn't know. He didn't know. But my kids helped point it out because oh, they were like, love. She was like, he didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. The kids like, let me know. You. It was like, oh. You must be mad. Or are you talking to Tia Reina or something? Because you talk in New Orleans. Because <laughs> then I'm not trying. If I'm frustrated, it's just you're going to get what you get. <laughs> well, it's funny, though, because, you know, like, uh, they talk about Sofia Vergara or, or anybody, like, uh, someone Latin who, I guess anyone in their native language. Like, when you get angry, so for me, it's when I get tired. Like, when I study late at night, I'd be messing up all the words or... <sighs> I just realized this the other, I mentioned this the other day too. Like I can't study too much. It's just like working out. You have to give your brain a break. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Because then I noticed, like, I just deteriorate. I'm like, I know this. Why? Why am I saying it wrong? Or why is it? I can't. What's happening? I can't think of the words. It's because you're tired and you have to take time off. And you never get time off. Exactly. Well, I guess. I I realize. (laughs) Yes. I'm I'm taking this everywhere. When I teach my class at the acupuncture school, you're like, hey, y'all, that's what y'all getting now. (laughs) See, I don't, it just feels like formal versus informal to me. I don't hear an accent or anything. No. No, Not to me. I'm still in transition right now. So I'm, 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 I'm laying it on slow because I want to make sure y'all keep laying it on slow as opposed to thick. (laughs) (laughs) I'm laying it on, laying the thickness on slow for you. So. If make sure you stay with just... me, so it's going it's going gradually, just to the thing. Going gradually, <laughs> gradually, not gradually. It's going gradually <laughs> get thicker as we go. Okay. Thicker, right? Okay. I'm, I'm dropping all the letters, dropping it all. Oh, okay, I feel okay. so free now. You feel free? <laughs> I do. I can. I understand that. I could see that. You know, it's interesting too. We talked about this as well. I think we talked about it in an episode where, like, Oprah, she is relatable to people because she changes um, her accent, her demeanor. She, I don't want to say she mimics, but she mirrors the person with whom she's speaking. And that makes that person feels more feel more comfortable. Unlike mm-hmm. Randall. I know you're going to say, he didn't know. He didn't know. It's whatever. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't trying to make me feel bad. Like he, I know, I know. He, he just loves it. And so he'll go on and like put it on. He'd be like, you know, what y'all won't eat for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do this accent. <laughs> but he does not. He sounds like in the movies when they're trying to do the New Orleans accent and it never sounds like New Orleans. It always sounds like somewhere in Mississippi or somewhere. North I was going to say that sounds Southern. It does not sound like the New Orleans no, accent. Like- yeah, but that's well, <laughs> that's funny. I w- I I wish for him that he would have said that to you. I love it. That's why I'm saying it. So I told you that Javi told me he was like, "Ooh, I like your accent." And I remember I was like, "Does that mean that it's a bad accent or like what?" <laughs> it's like, what? What do you? What do you? Because yeah. I I pride myself. You know, when I was in Germany, people used to be like, "Oh, I didn't know you weren't German." Like if they talked to me on the phone and then they saw me in person or whatever. Or, um, I, I no one's ever really said anything when I would speak French, but um, I try really hard to speak the way you speak in that language, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes, like when I hear people from the U.S. speak other languages, sometimes it's just painful. <laughs> or, or one time when I was, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it, you hear that heaviness that we were talking about. That but that's heaviness. what makes. That's what makes someone like me feel uncomfortable, right? I know, but I don't and say I don't, that to them. This is the first time like I said it out loud. Now everybody knows. <laughs> no. like I, was saying, I don't think Randall was doing it intentionally, but right, right, because right. my own experience yes, yes, about how I talk was not good, I projected, you know, and I started changing mm. so that. Ooh, I hear it now. Ooh, she's getting thicker. Getting thicker. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want everybody to know it was not him. He's super sweet. He loves me. He is very sweet. He yeah. does love yeah. her. He did. Yeah. These are facts. Facts. <laughs> facts. Well, you know, it's interesting because um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just such a conglomeration because I've just been so many places while I was growing up. So, yeah, I know I did notice at one point, though, because I have been so many places. So I've been away from Trinidad long enough that. I don't start speaking with a Trinidadian lilt when I'm on the phone with someone, right? Or, you know, like when I was in Turkey or whatever. But what's funny, I noticed, I think at some point I developed just, I guess, my international accent. It's like you just, I just start talking with a certain kind of, I don't know, like as if it's an accent, but it's not. And then I put in these extra words, like, let me try to think of something. So, um, okay, like for in English, you might say, oh, no, right? Oh, no. And in Spanish, you might say, I know, right? <laughs> but, but let me, what do I say? Oh, I know. Because in, in Trinidad, you'll be like, eh, eh. So I'll be, yeah. like, 
I I just start. I'll be around someone with an accent, and I'll speak English, and I'll go, eh, <laughs> like, I was like, eh? like, like, like. <laughs> And for me, it's more teeth sucking. Like if I'm around my <laughs> my family or my friends that are from the island, it, girl, see, like I can't, with stoops. I can't stoops anymore. Let's see if I can do it. What? I can't even do it anymore. I see it's a skill. You it learn it when you're little. I should have let it go because I got I got bop, bop upside the head like many a time from. Oh, because oh. it's rude. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't realize that my mama could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I we were very no, formal not- in our household. I'll tell you what. My so we used to say we have to say yes, mommy, right? She'd say something mm-hmm. to us. And we'd say yes, mommy. yes, mommy. And so one time I was wash. I was sixteen. I was washing dishes, <laughs> and um, my mother was on my nerves, and she was bah, bah, talking about something. And um, and I said yes. I'm steady washing this pan. Yes, a pressure cooker. And she mm-hmm. said, oh, what? Yes, dog? Yes, yes, pig? Mm-hmm. And I remember, I still remember the thoughts. I was like, <laughs> and then I, I, everything went in slow motion. And I was like, yes, pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. I put the pants on. I put the, I could only, and I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> Feel the energy as she decided was trying to decide what should I do with this child. <laughs> no, I'm and so I glad. You down. Down. I went to the next thing, next thing I felt poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, it was never that. Little, it, was just, it was a child abuse. It was just a little tiny. Like, don't don't forget yourself now. <laughs> yeah, I was never that bold. <laughs> I, you see, to this day, I remember because. I remember all the thoughts going through my head and am I going to be bold? I'm gonna be... <laughs> yes, pig. Mm, girl. No, no, even mom, even I'm... now, if my mom said something that I didn't like, I wait till I get off the phone. I'm disgusted. You know, I didn't say nothing. Okay. Okay, mom. Let me see if I can stoops anymore. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. See, I can't. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit. I, if I practice the, just for a second, I'll get it. Girl. I put my whole yeah. lip in it. <laughs> do do y'all point with your lips in Trinidad? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Actually, I, that's so I funny. Oh my god! I didn't. Even, I do all these things. And I didn't realize. I'd be like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you know men will think you're flirting with them. It's like, no, no, I was pointing at you. No, just say oh, good. <laughs> My kids know if they're trying to aggravate me, they like they start they're like that. I'm like, stop, stop pointing. Like that. <laughs> Don't point your finger like that. You're right, but it's got to come with the facial expression too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He always has a head nod. I'm thinking right now of my cousin. It's actually my mom's cousin, my second cousin. And she does it all the time. But her lip pointing is slow. She'll be like... <laughs> like she'll linger to make sure you got where she was pointing. I have a cousin who who point for everything. So her bottom lip is literally like pointing. Longer. When she goes, yeah, it makes this point. <laughs> like it's actually doing a little finger point. Over there. Oh my! That one, over, and she can do sideways too. Like if she's talking to yes. about that one yes. over there. <laughs> the point. Your finger can point different. Your lip can too. <laughs> and you have to, you know, when you're like that dude over there. What dude? Mm-hmm. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh I think goodness. we're good for today. Well, yes. I'm glad that we have liberated you. Thank you. To libres. <laughs> you are free. Did I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> you free, I think I said. You free. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Yes. <laughs> this was great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, you're free now. So I look forward yes. to the future episodes. Yes, me too. 
Adiós. All right. Adiós. Chao.